Why is most of our universe just empty? What happened to all the matter that should be there? Are these massive cosmic voids simply spaces between galaxies? Or could they be something far more mysterious? Is it possible that these vast, dark regions hold secrets that go beyond our current understanding? Maybe even hinting at something ancient, something hidden? And here's a thought. What if these voids aren't empty at all? Could they be the remnants of some colossal event? Or perhaps they contain energies we haven't yet discovered? Some scientists wonder if these voids might even be connected to ancient cosmic structures or forces beyond our comprehension. Are they relics from a time before the galaxies we know today? Could they be linked to an ancient world? Or are they simply an eerie reminder of how little we know? Let's pull back the layers of space and time and see if we can find out. The origins of the voids can be traced back to the universe's earliest moments, long before the first stars and galaxies emerged. Billions of years ago, matter was nearly uniform throughout the universe, with no significant variations. However, there were tiny random differences, just a millionth more matter in one area and a millionth less in another. As the universe evolved, those initial differences in matter began to expand. Although gravity is a weak force, it is persistent and patient. Regions with even a slight advantage in matter developed a slightly stronger gravitational pull, drawing more matter toward them and leaving their surroundings increasingly empty. As matter continued to accumulate, gravity intensified, further depleting the surrounding areas. Over hundreds of millions of years, the cosmic web gradually formed, starting with small clumps that ignited as the first stars followed by the emergence of small galaxies that merged to create vast clusters, filaments, and walls. As the rich regions of the universe accumulated more matter, the voids became increasingly devoid of it. Initially, the voids were small, subtle dimples in an otherwise smooth cosmic fabric. However, as the cosmic web expanded, these voids grew larger, with matter flowing into the gravitational pull of the larger, brighter structures. Today, voids represent over 80% of the universe's volume, but contain less than one-tenth of its total mass. That emptiness grants the voids a hidden power. In the late 1990s, two teams of astronomers found that the expansion of the universe is accelerating. Our universe is growing larger at an increasingly rapid pace with each passing day. Contrary to our expectations, we anticipated that the gravitational pull of all cosmic matter would gradually slow down this expansion, not accelerate it. This accelerated expansion, confirmed by numerous experiments over the past 25 years, is known as dark energy. In simple terms, we have no clear understanding of what dark energy actually is. However, we believe this mysterious acceleration may be an intrinsic property of space-time itself. Essentially, dark energy is woven into the fabric of the cosmos, driving the universal expansion to accelerate uniformly. Yet, we do not experience this acceleration in our immediate surroundings. Earth, the solar system, the Milky Way, and even our local cosmic environment are not expanding. This is because our local region of the universe is filled with matter, stars, gas, dust, and people. The gravitational attraction of all this matter completely overwhelms the effects of dark energy. In contrast, the voids are empty by definition. They contain no stars, gas, dust, or people, meaning there's nothing to counteract dark energy's influence. As a result, the voids are expanding, accelerating in their growth. They literally push against the surrounding filaments and walls, driving matter away as they continue their relentless expansion. Recent research suggests that the vast, empty regions of the universe, which resemble gigantic deserts of nothingness, may be driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. This means that these expansive voids could help explain dark energy, the enigmatic force that appears to be pushing the universe apart. When zooming out from the solar system and the Milky Way, a fascinating pattern emerges, the cosmic web the largest structure in nature. 
At this scale, entire galaxies appear as tiny points of light, while astronomers observe long, thin filaments of galaxies, dense clusters, and expansive regions of near emptiness, known as cosmic voids. The smallest of these voids measure about 20 million light years across, while the largest can exceed 160 million light years. Similar to the gaps in a spider's web, these voids constitute the majority of the universe's volume, despite containing very little matter. In fact, aside from the cosmic web itself, which spans the observable universe, cosmic voids represent the largest entities in the cosmos. Astronomers first identified cosmic voids in the late 1970s, but these regions have mostly been overlooked since then. Instead, researchers in astronomy and cosmology have concentrated on the more luminous structures of the universe, like galaxies and clusters. This focus led to an unexpected discovery in the 1990s, dark energy. Dark energy refers to the phenomenon of the universe's accelerated expansion. This indicates that the universe is not only expanding daily, but is doing so at an increasing rate with each passing moment. Astronomers are still trying to understand what drives the current accelerated expansion of the universe, which seems to have begun around 5 billion years ago. This phenomenon is referred to as dark energy, a fitting term for a significant cosmological mystery. Voids play a crucial role in this context. The effects of accelerated expansion are negligible within star systems or galaxies, where the gravitational pull of matter dominates. For instance, neither our solar system nor the Milky Way is expanding due to dark energy. In contrast, voids, which are largely empty, are more sensitive to dark energy's influence. Thus, it makes sense to explore the nature of this accelerated expansion where its effects are most pronounced. A new research paper by a team of Iranian theoretical physicists advances this idea. Published in July on the preprint database Arkshiv and accepted for the journal Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Letters. The authors argue that dark energy is not only present in voids, but is actually generated by them. From the darkness, how can these vast regions of emptiness drive accelerated expansion? The author suggests that the key lies not just in the existence of cosmic voids, but in their dynamics. Cosmic voids are not static. They have evolved from small beginnings into their current massive forms. Billions of years ago, matter in the universe was distributed relatively evenly with minimal density variations. However, over time, regions with slightly more matter began to attract additional matter. This increased mass enhanced their gravitational pull, promoting further growth. Over billions of years, this process led to the formation of galaxies, groups, and clusters. As these structures developed, the voids expanded and became more empty. Instead of viewing this as a passive process, we can see the growth of voids as actively exerting pressure on the surrounding structures. For instance, as voids enlarge, the walls of galaxies between them gradually thin and may eventually dissolve, allowing voids to merge. In the coming billions of years, this will lead to the dissolution of the cosmic web, forcing matter into isolated clumps, separated by vast stretches of emptiness. This pressure distorts the space-time around the voids, much like any other source of matter or energy in the universe. The resulting space-time distortion means that, as voids expand, they exert a force on the galaxies at their edges, causing them to move apart despite their mutual gravitational attraction. The authors discovered that the combined effects of all the large voids in the universe contribute to the dissolution of the cosmic web, resulting in accelerated expansion. The magnitude of this void-driven expansion aligns with current estimates of dark energy. The Bodas Void, a mysterious region in our universe, stretches across 330 million light years and contains very few galaxies, making it the largest known void. In fact, there are many such voids, which make up about 80% of the known universe. Our Milky Way galaxy, 
is situated in a void known as the KBC void, or local hole. However, none of these voids is as large as the Boda's super void. What is the Boda's void? Often referred to as the Great Nothing or the Great Void, the Boda's void is a spherical region located 700 million light years from Earth in the constellation Boda's, named after the herdsman who eternally guides the plow around the North Star Polaris. This void extends across 330 million light years, but contains very few galaxies, making it the largest known void in the universe. This vast expanse contains only about 60 galaxies, all arranged in a tube-shaped region at the center of the void. Typically, we would expect to find around 2,000 galaxies in an area of this size. It is bordered by the Ursa Major, Shapley, Hercules, Corona Borealis, and Bodas superclusters. When the universe first emerged, the matter it contained was densely packed and relatively uniform. However, quantum fluctuations led to some regions becoming slightly denser. These denser areas collapsed under gravity more quickly, drawing in more matter from the surrounding, less dense regions. As the universe expanded, these small, dense regions grew and began to cluster together, forming galaxies that attracted one another, ultimately creating a vast, foam-like web of filaments throughout the universe. These filaments and voids represent the largest structures in the known universe, formed by the clustering of galaxies as they converge. The voids created the spaces between the filaments, similar to bubbles in foam. Smaller voids combined to form larger ones. Together, voids and filaments shape the overall structure of the universe. Filaments emit more energy, making them hotter compared to the colder, empty voids. Voids and superclusters were first recognized in the mid-1970s when redshift surveys were used to create a 3D map of the universe. This brings us to the big question, how was the Bodas void discovered? The Bodas void was discovered in 1981 by American astronomer Robert Kirshner from the University of Michigan. While conducting a survey of galaxy redshifts to create a 3D map of the universe, Kirshner and his team identified a vast empty region. The size of the void, along with the presence of some, though very few galaxies, rules out the possibility of the Bodas void being a black hole. Additionally, Comparisons with Barnard 68 exclude the possibility of it being a dark nebula, which are dense molecular clouds that obscure visible light and conceal the objects behind them. What can the Bodas void reveal about the universe? By examining the Bodas void and similar structures, scientists can gain insights into dark energy and its role in the universe's expansion. Voids also provide excellent environments for studying neutrinos, which pass through them freely. Missions like the Euclid satellite aim to compare neutrino samples from voids with theoretical predictions to measure the total mass of all types of neutrinos. In conclusion, the Bota's void stands as a significant and intriguing feature of the universe, offering valuable insights into cosmic structure and the nature of dark energy. Its vast emptiness challenges our understanding of galaxy formation and distribution highlighting the dynamic interplay between matter and the forces shaping the cosmos. As researchers continue to study this enormous void, particularly through missions like the Euclid satellite, we can expect to deepen our understanding of fundamental particles like neutrinos and refine our theories about the universe's expansion. Ultimately, the Bodas void not only exemplifies the mysteries of the universe, but also serves as a key to unlocking the secrets of its underlying mechanisms. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.